Recently, there was a question on the community and uh, I thought I'll probably make a slightly detailed video on uh, this topic. And this uh, topic was uh, about uh, a question related to a report. Now, if you look at the question, it says uh, how to create a dashboard that shows open issues for each assignee. So Dilshad is asking about uh, a requirement where uh, he has uh, a list of uh, issues with uh, different assignees and he is looking for a report that can tell him how many issues are uh, assigned to which user, maybe account, and uh, he is uh, mostly interested in understanding this uh, breakup per assignee or per employee. And he also mentioned uh, something like open issues. So I think uh, this is a requirement where he's interested in uh, understanding how many open issues are there per assignee. So what I will be doing, I will be uh, trying to create a report to generate uh, this uh, gadget uh, with some information that uh, can be used fulfilling uh, the requirement. Now, in my Jira instance, I do have uh, some issues. And if, if you want to take a look at all the issues, you can click on the search on the uh, left hand side. You will be taken to, of course, this uh, this uh, place, this section here on the left hand side where you can type your uh, text or you can use uh, this uh, ready-made filter if you look at the very bottom called uh, view all issues. Now, if you look at uh, view all issues, it will give you a simple list of all the issues. but this is nothing but a list of uh, issues. Uh, let us wait for it to come up on the screen. So you can see here that right now I just have uh, 11 issues in uh, my instance of Jira, which is fine. We can still create a report out of it. And uh, if you look at uh, the uh, assigning column, you can see here that uh, these 11 issues are assigned to either uh, a user called admin, Ravi or uh, Ravi Sagar. So we have three users and also we do have some issues uh, which are unassigned. So what I can do, I can uh, go back to my uh, my home page or my dashboard uh, and I can uh, create uh, maybe uh, a new dashboard or maybe I can add a gadget to an existing dashboard. So if I click on this uh, dashboard uh, link on the left hand side in my uh, in my sidebar, I can then uh, take a look at my dashboard. So right now I don't, I, I, I don't really have a dashboard. It is nothing but a default dashboard, but I can uh, create uh, my own dashboard. So I'll probably collapse my sidebar. So I have more space to work on. So I can create a new dashboard. Let us call this dashboard as uh, my dashboard. So this is my own personal dashboard and uh, I don't want to give access to anyone. It is only me who should have, who should have access to this uh, dashboard. And uh, I can uh, first uh, create this empty dashboard where uh, we don't have any uh, report or any gadget. So I can add a couple of gadgets to have this information about uh, assignee. So the first thing that I will probably do, I'll uh, probably uh, take a look at uh, uh, a gadget called uh, a pie chart. I think this is a simple uh, a simple gadget that can uh, provide useful inf information. So if I click on load all uh, gadgets, I do have, uh, you know, a few things that I can uh, use here, some ready made gadgets out of the box without using any add on. So let us take a look at all the gadgets. And I will probably use the one that uh, we can use. Uh, to have some uh, useful inf information. So the first gadget that I will probably add is uh, issue statistics. I will also take a look at my pie chart. Then I will uh, also take a look at uh, something called as a two dimensional filter statistics. And do we have anything else here? We can also take a look at the workload pie chart, but uh, uh, we are not really sure whether uh, this will give us uh, some information because uh, you may have uh, some you know uh, time logging but not all the issues but let us 
start using it. So let us first uh, configure the workload pie chart and uh, what uh, you can do here, you can actually uh, uh, use uh, a statistic type here, which is nothing but the assignee because we want to use this report based on the person who is supposed to work on those issues. And the time field to report on is the field that uh, we, 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 we may want to show or display on this particular dashboard. But it really depends if you're using this particular time logging feature in uh, Jira. But for the time being, I'll just use uh, original estimate and I'll click on the save button. And uh, you also need to select either a filter or a project. So I'll probably use uh, one of my uh, um, my project. I will search for uh, maybe uh, some filters or maybe a project. So let us say I select open and unassigned or uh, maybe something like uh, my own filter, but I don't really have any filter so far, but I'll click on a project and I'll probably use uh, one of my project, uh, which is content management system. Let us do one thing, let us create our own uh, filter. I think it will, uh, uh, it will uh, give us a lot of uh, issues to use on the dashboard. So I will uh, go to my, my search. I will probably go back. I'll cancel this. Okay. I'll go to the search again. And uh, what I may want to do is I want to just uh, have a filter with uh, everything. I will not use any query. So when you are uh, within your issue navigator, you have the option on top. Uh, of course, you can uh, search for maybe a specific project or maybe, uh, you know, you can add few quick queries either using the basic search or using the JQL. But uh, right now there is no query, but uh, you can still save your uh, search displaying all issues irrespective of their status. So this is something that you can do here. And right now, if you uh, if you look at your resolution, right now the resolution is uh, mostly unresolved, but you can focus it on only resolved issues or done issues where the status or the, the or the resolution field is uh, done. So we now have a have a filter to use. And if I go back to my uh, dashboard, I will use this filter called uh, all issues. So I'm uh, back to my filter. And I do have uh, my uh, my gadgets that I can now configure. So the first uh, gadget is uh, workload pie chart and I will uh, type in my filter name and statistics type is assignee and I will uh, simply save it. So right now, oh, there is an error, uh, interesting. So this error is probably because of uh, something wrong with the Jira cloud. Uh, maybe there is a, there, there is a problem with uh, uh, some, some service maybe down but let us see if we can use original estimate field. Uh, and right now we don't really have a lot of information here because we have not used time logging. It is fine, we can ignore this, but uh, two dimensional filter statistics will uh, show you really interesting information. So on this uh, gadget, you can have uh, two fields. Let us say one is assignee and the other one could be uh, maybe your uh, project, uh, let us use the project field uh, project here. And uh, you can uh, simply save it and it will give you a nice table showing you the status, not really a status, but the count of issues assigned to different assignees. Like right now we can see here that uh, for each project, how many issues are assigned to admin, how many issues are assigned to Ravi and how many issues are assigned to Ravi Sagar and how many issues are unassigned along with the total for each row and also for each column and, and a total call a total account of 11 which is uh, all the issues in the filter. So this is really interesting and uh, apart from this uh, gadget you can also use uh, one more uh, pie chart to have the same kind of report but in a pie chart maybe in a graphical format and let us see what all we can uh, see from this gadget. So this looks really interesting. And I think uh, having some kind of a graph is 
always helpful. It gives you a very clear picture of what is happening. So right now I can see here that a lot of issues almost uh, close to uh, or basically most of the issues are assigned to Ravi Sagar, like 36%. You can see here the breakup, uh, like right now four issues are assigned to Ravi Sagar and if you go back to the table, it will also show you four across all the projects. But uh, this pie chart will give you the information irrespective of the project. So you have this nice pie chart showing you kind of a breakup, but you have a two-dimensional filter statistics showing you the same breakup, but with one more additional information about uh, the project. And uh, you can also use uh, this uh, issue statistics, which will give you similar information, but uh, not really uh, in a pie chart format, but it will simply show you a count along with the percentage. So I think uh, it really depends uh, what exactly you're trying to do. And uh, you can still create uh, nice reports and you can have these dashboards based on uh, maybe a filter or maybe based on a project. And uh, the whole idea here is to use the inbuilt uh, capabilities of Jira and uh, have these reports to basically uh, analyze the data and uh, make some uh, analysis on the information that you already have. And uh, in this video, I just wanted to spend some time talking about uh, how you can uh, use your ex existing uh, issues in your Jira instance, but do some analysis using the inbuilt capabilities of Jira. So I hope uh, you found this uh, video interesting and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.